Uh, the definition of wit is the keen perception and cleverly apt expression of those connections between ide ideas and awaken amusement and pleasure. For the month of May, I had the privilege of traveling with the Hope College Communication Department to Liverpool, England. There we were stationed at Liverpool Hope University and we got the chance to study humor and culture. Uh, so we were able to have several different speakers from Liverpool Hope University talking to us from everything from the history of Liverpool to the Beatles to obviously British humor. Here in America we take our jokes uh, more forward. We are straightforward, there's no hidden meaning to anything we say, so you can respond right away. Whereas with British, they're very into using their sarcasm and irony, and it's used in their daily language. Um, and their jokes are definitely more subtle uh, and darker, or sometimes more sadistic, uh, depending on who you're joking around with. So, be, so transitioning from American culture and humor, where it's very straightforward, everything is exactly what they mean it to be, uh, to having to really think about what British people are telling you to decipher what they're saying was a big leap. The British also tend to avoid sincerity until absolutely necessary. So 90% of the time when you're talking to people, it will be very boisterous and humorous and you won't get too deep into conversation. They like to keep it light and get to know you and share who they are. First going over to England, I got offended several times by the way people were speaking to me, especially strangers, uh, because in the British culture, humor is used as play fighting. So if you're not used to it, it can be really offensive um, and you can get taken aback from it but they don't ever mean to really hurt you. Play fighting is also a very big sign of affection, so the more um, the Liverpudlians or the Scousers would uh, play fight with you would mean that they really enjoy your company, they really think you're great, they love you. To the Brits, comedy is an intellectual pursuit, not a platform. Even in their darkest times, the British find humor. They find that humor is a good way to let off steam and really show your emotions and just be who you are. Comedy for them is strengthening your brain, studying it, testing it, whereas here we just want a simple flat out joke that we can laugh at that we don't have to think too hard about. To them, they really enjoy the challenge of a witty joke, of a humorous joke. They really enjoy wordplay and uh, brain teasers, as we call them. So transitioning from that was also a little bit difficult the first week or so, um, because I found that while talking to people, I couldn't just passively listen. I had to really hone in and listen to what they were saying and really think about everything because they were always laughing and I never really understood why, um, but once I started engaging more into the conversations, I understood, you know, a lot of what they were saying was jokes and, and little jests towards me or my culture. And so it was really funny to start to interact with them and engage more into the conversations because I started to laugh more along with them than just being that awkward American in the corner staring at them like, I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> Ricky Gervais is a very famous United Kingdom comic. He starred and wrote the British version of The Office, which the US version of The Office is based off of. He also produces and helps write the show An Idiot Abroad. Um, so he finds humor and comedy just as a daily job, it's something that you don't turn off, it's something that you always live with. Um, but a great quote that I found from him that I think really applies to this is, you shouldn't say it if you didn't mean it, and you should never regret anything you meant to do. That goes along with Brits um, really well. The ones that I interacted with was that they never apologized for anything. 
uh, their humor was humorous, and if you got it, you got it. If you didn't, you didn't. And if you tried to ask or tried to decipher what it meant, they would look at you like you were strange, because <laughs> you should have just gotten it. Um, and they, exactly what Ricky Gervais says, they mean what they say, and their humor is what it is, and you just have to take it as it is, and don't think too deeply about it, because it's usually not supposed to be a hidden meaning behind. British humor is almost always deadpan as well, which was difficult because usually in America we giggle or laugh or smile to indicate that it's teasing or joking, whereas like British humor is just very serious, very flat. They're not going to indicate that it was necessarily a joke until a little later, so you have to be very on your feet and very engaged in the conversation to catch up on that deadpan humor, because that deadpan humor is almost the funniest humor you can come across. Language, there are definitely language differences, um, different lingo, um, and then next is the accent, because the accent isn't very easy to understand sometimes in Liverpool with the Scouse accent. Uh, but after that, getting to read between the lines is a little easier. Um, and there's really lies the rich golden parts of the humor. Um, and it really shows you the true person's personality. Overall, I found that British wit and humor was a lot better than American wit and humor. Um, they're very open to everything. They want to joke, they want to engage you in their jokes. They want to swap jokes, which was always interesting. Um, also, they're really into their delivery, so I would always get yelled at for not doing a very good delivery, and then I would be asked to do the joke again and again and again and again and again until the delivery was exactly how they thought it should be. <laughs> um, so the Brits definitely take their humor and wit seriously. And I thought that was great because it made me think and it made me see more into their culture and I really understood when we heard in a lecture that the British, even in dark times, are always laughing and using their wit because it helps them get through it and makes the time a little easier. And I noticed that they're always using their wit and their humor and near the end of my time I started to open up and play with a little bit of more wit and humor and I found that engaging, engaging that part of myself all the time what made my days a little more exciting, made it a little better. So that was one big takeaway from the trip. Uh, definitely that British humor and culture, even though we share the same language, we don't speak the same thing. And I really appreciate everything that any local was willing to tell me or any of the professors were willing to talk to me about uh, because it opened my eyes and I was able to interact and make myself feel, seem more like a local. Um, I mean, I acted like it, but as soon as I opened my mouth, it was pretty obvious that I wasn't. Um, but being able to interact with them through conversation and using the correct um, language that they were using put me a little bit more on even ground with them.